So one year in the Philippines. Um, this is my official one year anniversary. I've been in this country for over one year now, uh, just barely. And um, what are my thoughts? I originally flew into Lapu Lapu, then I went to Cebu City Central, then I went to Makati, then I found this beautiful gem, Uptown BGC. Uh, got a little restless here, moved to Boracay and paid a year there on February 2nd and have been kind of going back and forth ever since. I've seen Shargao Island. I have been back to Cebu many times, Mactan, Lapu Lapu, etc. all over Manila from Tondo to BGC. Um, as a foreigner from America that came here at 45 years old, not really knowing what to expect, um, had initially been having plans to go to Thailand and I chose the Philippines. Um, it's definitely a bit of a culture shock when you first arrive. Um, there are good and bad things, but let me break everything down. Um, as a Western person for a lot of guys that are interested in doing this. And you know, when you stay somewhere a month or two months or two weeks, or you meet a girl at the airport and move to her province and stay, you know, in that little bubble for a while, you're gonna have a different perspective of a guy that's been out and about moving around and has only done like short-term relationships and stuff like that and not, uh, you know, kind of handled everything myself from the visa process to renting like five different condos to um, dating online and in person from the beaches to the cities. Um, I would say that overall the Philippines is amazing and it's a generally kind country where uh, Filipinos and Filipinas are going to be very nice to you and treat you very well. Um, you'll be treated with the utmost respect. Uh, I always joke that I used to go to the Bacchanal Buffet in Vegas, widely regarded as the best buffet in the world, and it would be about $70 to eat there. And I did that probably 100 times and they didn't know my name. Um, in the Philippines, if you go spend $14 or 700 pesos somewhere, you know, you'll meet the owner, or they'll know your name, and they'll treat you very good. Um, if they see you coming in as a regular and you're spending a thousand pesos each time or two thousand if you bring a friend or something they will seat you immediately they'll they'll treat you like a vip so the warmth of the filipino people is definitely unmatched and um women you will definitely be more handsome in the philippines um you know the more into the province you go the more things will swing in your favor the more you're in like a boracay or a um bgc or a makati uh, even Cebu a bit, perhaps less, because they're not uh, surprised by foreigners. But overall, I mean, the financial freedom has been a tremendous uh, weight off my back. In America, there was times, even when I was making good money, when I'd be barely making my bills, um, you know, juggling, fixing my Mercedes every five minutes, my car insurance, my huge rent, uh, you know, whatever other expenses I had. Um, sometimes you just feel financial, financially unsure if you need to make $5,000 a month or something. Here, if you got $5,000 and you live conservatively, that could last you five months or four months, depending on your budget. So just so much more financial freedom that you feel um, being in a place like this to where it kind of lifts that weight off your back, the stress relief. You don't really feel the stress that you felt um, in America with all of the politics talk and all your Facebook friends being divided by Biden and Trump or whatever uh, the, the stuff it just seems to be an overall stressed world out there in America it's just like everybody's really really worried about you know uh, trying to be a big star or trying to make money or everyone's in a hurry everyone's road rage you always hear about you know shootings and and stuff like that I love America that's my country and I'm a proud American passport holder, but I really, really um, have never seen a fight here in over 12 months, never once, never even seen a punch thrown. Um, you really, really have more of a peaceful kind of island vibe even in the city. Now, can there be dangers? Certainly. Um, could you get the foreigner price here and there? Sure, you know, people will try. Um, no place is perfect, but Philippines to me is what America was 30 to 40 years ago when I was a little boy. Um, women are still fit, feminine, and friendly for the most part. Um, 
they are you know cooperative they're a good partner i think filipinas are the best partners in the world as a man that's dated women from all over the world and has tremendous experience with american women now that i've dated a few filipinas i would say filipinas are the best women in the world i think the filipino people are the kindest people in the world and i really think that um the Philippines has a lot to offer by way of language. Um, there is no language barrier in the Philippines. Almost everybody speaks English to some extent. Some people have excellent English. If they're a call center girl or a you know, high level uh, person, most of these girls work for American companies and they work what we would call the graveyard shift, but they are compensated well to do so. Most of the girls that I've dated work in that. So the communication is very easy, um, et cetera. Um, just in general, I think you feel a tremendous stress release. Um, your blood pressure will be lower. You can have time because you're not racing the clock to try to make 5,000, 10,000 every month. Focus on your fitness, focus on your diet, focus on traveling around this beautiful country to the different beaches. So far I've explored, you know, uh, Shargao. I've lived in Boracay for like eight months off and on. Um, and I've uh, been to Mactan, obviously, which is a man-made beach in the outskirts of Cebu, Lapu-Lapu. But yeah, I mean, you, I still have a lot more ground to cover. I want to go to Bohol. I want to go to Palawan. But, um, you know, overall, I think this is a tremendous deal. A lot of guys come here and they're a little bit starved out and they, you know, meet a girl at the airport and it's locked and loaded. And that's, that's amazing. You know, if you, meet, if you hit a home run on that or you meet your partner right away, that's tremendous and I'm very happy for you. I did not take that route. And I sort of took my time and I'm now kind of finally getting there. But, you know, whether it takes you a year or a day or a month or you just stay single. Some guys come out here, they just want to live for cheaper. They want to enjoy the, the um, good vibes and the uh, kindness of the Filipino people. And they're not super concerned with women or they don't mind, you know, uh, just dating or whatever they can do. But in general, your value will be higher. As I said in yesterday's video, you can be a high value man here off of 40 grand a year, where in America you would need four times that pretty much in most cities or six times that in a major city. So I think that it's a really good deal. Um, but what you need to do is take a discovery trip for all my you know, American or Western friends that want to do this. You don't want to just sell your car and your house and everything you own and come out here. And, you know, the humidity is a bit tough. The customer service can be tough. There's things about the Philippines that are not perfect. Nowhere is perfect. I don't like to overhype things. People like me because I don't sugarcoat or fluff things. And there's some challenges. You'll be 8,000 miles from home. You could feel a bit lonely if you don't meet that girl at the airport. You can feel, um, you know, a little bit isolated. You know, you, you know, if you don't have any friends or you don't have a girlfriend, you know, it's not perfect. You, that's why a lot of people gravitate towards an immediate partner, even if that's the wrong partner, because it's weird to be 8,000 miles from home. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I really was impressed with BGC and still am. And I think Boracay, seeing the beauty of that island and what I was able to attain a place there on a yearly basis for was really the nail in the coffin for the West for me. And that's why I'm comfortable here. Just the cost of living and the financial stress off my back has been a tremendous thing. Um, do I miss my family? Certainly. Do I miss driving around in my car or you know, Amazon Prime showing up 30 minutes later? Sure, why not? But at the end of the day, um, you got to do what's best for you and for all my friends out there. I really suggest just a 30 day discovery trip, not a one week discovery trip, not a two week discovery trip. But if you can get 30 days off of your job or even two weeks minimum, you got to come out here. You got to go to a couple different locations and everybody that I've done consultations with and everybody that I've, you know, in my community, my live streams at 9 a.m. and uh, that have booked a consultation with me for $50 PayPal link in the bio. Almost every single one of them has have already booking their next trip or they're planning to retire here. So the hype is real. Um, I'm not trying to overhype it. I just told you it's very humid. Um, I just told you the customer service can be challenging. Post office can be challenging, etc., etc., etc. Nowhere is perfect, but it's a damn good trade off to have a raised value as a man. And I suggest that ladies check it out too. You'll love Boracay. You'll love Chargao. You will love BGC, very safe. Um, Philippines is not what a lot of people think it is. And Philippines is really a developing country. And like this view that you're looking at right here gives you a great idea of the potential of this amazing country. So thank you to the Philippines for your warm welcome to me.
and making me feel at home and that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video and sana all.